So one thing people don't realize is that Facebook has a lot of monetization options and I've been able to monetize my content and make quite a bit of money over the last couple months. Now I'm not making this video to brag or to show out. I just want to show you guys how much money you can actually be making with your content on Facebook. Over the last three days, I've literally made $4,000. Yes. 4,000 American USD on Facebook with in-stream ads. Now, in-stream ads is not one that they actively promote. So they're more so promoting reels, ads on reels, posting reels, different things like that. But in-stream ads is the most lucrative that I have seen on Facebook because there's so many different avenues to post videos. In-stream ads by far has been the most profitable one for me on Facebook and I've done them all. So one thing Facebook has been working on is the simplification of how you can monetize your content. So if you go over to your Facebook profile, whether you have a page or you have a professional profile. Now there are two different things and I will make a video about what the differences is between the things because I do have both. So when you go to your Facebook profile, go to your professional dashboard and it should show you all of the monetization options. They have things from stars to ads on reels to in-stream ads to different bonuses that they offer. Now, one good thing about Facebook is they do make it very clear as to what the acceptance criteria is for each one of these monetization tiers. So like if you look at this one, this one shows you how many video views you need to have, how many followers you need to have, how many minutes watch you need to have, all those different things. It tells you exactly where you are in that tier and how you can get monetized on your page. My page blew up out of nowhere and I didn't really understand the monetization options that were available. So whenever I was first monetized, I was just on reels and I had the reels bonus. And one thing that I always tell people is that they need to try to get out of the bonus programs because the bonus programs are just that, they're a bonus. So they're supposed to be on top of other monetization options or other things that you are doing. So you can't rely on bonuses because a lot of times bonuses will go away, they'll lower the payment threshold, they'll lower how much they're paying out, all those different things. So TikTok, you can see that from the creator fund. They, you know, it started out great. And then as, so as more people joined the creator fund, the fund got more diluted. And that's the same thing that happens with these Facebook bonus programs. So the only one that they have currently right now that I know of is the performance bonus. Now I like the performance bonus because you can basically monetize every piece of content that you post besides reels and stories. So that's a text post, that's a photo post, or that's a video, anything that you share to your page, most of the time you can get paid off of sharing that content to your page. So one thing that Facebook is trying to get better at is getting more people posting original content on the platform. So if you're not posting original content, you're not gonna get paid as much as if you were posting somebody else's content or if you're editing somebody else's content, those videos, those posts aren't gonna get paid as much as if it is original content. Now I'm gonna show you how the ads kind of popped up on my page a couple days ago. Now, I will say that I did get kicked out of the ad program. I've done this twice, but I want to share my story because I think a lot of people miss out on this opportunity with the Facebook ads. So the reason I got kicked out of the in-stream ad program is because I wasn't necessarily following the monetization policies. And I knew that I wasn't, and I knew that it was only gonna be a couple days before they said, hey, you can't get in-stream ads anymore. But during that time, I had a couple posts go viral and I made quite a bit of money. So as you can see on the first day, I had just made around $200. Um, I just realized that I had the in-stream ads and I started trying to post more content that was original or that I knew that was gonna get clicks and views. I posted another video and boom, it went up to $500. Um, the next day, it kind of went crazy. It went over, it went over $2,000 and then it went over $3,000. Then it went over $4,000 and then it cut me off. Aww. So there's definitely potential here. If you can post original content, if you can be consistent with your content on Facebook and Facebook honestly wants you to create content for their platform. The performance bonus is really good just to kind of supplement what you're doing. It's not like a ton of money. I have made more on it and then over the months it's gotten lower and lower as more people have joined the program and the professional mode is invite only. So it's not like everybody can go and join. You don't have, there's not an acceptance criteria for it. It is in, in, invite only. So, but they have invited more creators and that has lowered the amount that they have put out bonuses. Now let's get over to the dashboard and see exactly what the criteria is for each tier. All right, so the first one we're gonna look at is gonna be in-stream ads. It's like I said, it's the one that I really wanna harp on people to get, it's the in-stream ad. So you have to reside in an eligible country. You also have to follow Facebook monetization policies. Now I will leave a link to all these things so you can go look at them and see exactly what they are and what you need to have. Um, you do have to have 5,000 followers. So this is the one that a lot of people 
kind of it pushes them off because they feel like oh 5,000 followers it's not really that difficult to get 5,000 followers if you know what you're doing uh, I'm gonna make some more videos where I'm gonna build a page that has like a hundred followers up to the 5,000 followers so if you want to see that make sure you're subscribed um, so let's get down to the content criteria so you do have to have 60,000 minutes of watch time in the last 60 days so you have to be posting videos you have to be posting content in order to get into the in-stream ads uh, program so you do have to have 60,000 minutes of watch time so you do have to you will have to actively start posting uh videos you also have to have five videos eligible videos shared in the last 30 days in order to be eligible for in-stream ads all right bonuses is going to be your next one that you're going to look at so that's going to be your performance bonus that's going to pay you for anything that you share text photo or video that's shared to your page you're going to be able to get paid for engagement with those things it's going to be shares it's going to be likes there's going to be comments views anything like that any any type of engagement with your post you're going to be paid for now that does exclude stories and that excludes reels because they have a specific one for reels but the performance bonus is one of the best ones i think that you can get into if you have the invite for it now you can see that this one is invite only so facebook is going to deem your page eligible and they'll send you an invite and it's going to come via email so it's not going to be something that's going to pop up on your page it's actually going to come to your email and it's going to say hey you're eligible for the performance bonus if you want to sign up for it now i will tell you my performance bonus is up to a maximum of thirty thousand dollars per month which is crazy i've never gotten nowhere close to that i think the most i've made on the performance bonus was around the four thousand dollar mark in one month but you can make up to thirty thousand dollars a month if you are posting viral content and you're getting a lot of engagement in your content now i think when i got that four thousand dollars um just to put it in context i had about 36 million engagements with my posts and i had like around 40 million views on my post that I made in that month. So that kind of gives you a context of what numbers you need to be making to get to maximize that performance bonus. But like I said, the performance bonus is really good if you're posting original content that does get a lot of engagement. All right, so now let's take a look at live ads. So this is a if you like doing live videos or if you're doing live streams, they do have some criteria and you can get ads on your live streams. Now I'm assuming these ads are probably paid similar to the in-stream ads and if they do that's really really lucrative you can make a lot of money with that um, but you do have to reside in an eligible country you have to follow the content monetization policies and you also have to have 10,000 followers on your page so you got to have 600,000 minutes total for your page with any kind of videos that you post it and then you have to have 60,000 of those minutes need to come from live video so that's very very specific um, if you want to meet the criteria for those. Also, you have to have shared five videos in the last 30 days, which is very similar to the uh, the in-stream ads. One extra thing with the live videos is that you do have to share three of those videos need to be live videos. So five videos shared to your page, but also three of those five videos need to be live videos. So if you go live very often and you are getting views, you are getting people into your videos, even if you're just getting rewatches, so people watching your live after it's been streamed, um, you're going to be able to meet this pretty quickly. 600,000 minutes seem like a lot, but it's, it, it really kind of adds up over time. And it's not very, if you have one video go viral, you can get those 600 minutes very, very quickly. All right, so the next one we're going to look at is stars. So stars is one that's a little bit different for Facebook because it's kind of similar to Super Chats on YouTube because that's actually people that's watching your videos sending you this money. It's not sending you money. You're sending, it's sending stars and the stars have a value. Um, so they are sending you money, but you do have to have uh, follow the content policies, be in an eligible country, and you have to have 500 followers. So this is like one of the lower tiers uh, to be able to get into because you only have to have 500 followers. Um, and then you also have to consecutively have 500 followers for 30 days. Also, a lot of times Facebook will give you the star feed Feature before you even reach that 500 follower threshold um, just because they're testing out some different things one thing about Facebook is they do test out a lot of different things so you know one month you may not have them one month you may have them so you just need to make sure you check your profile to see if you have uh, stars enabled so the last tier is going to be subscriptions and subscriptions is one that I haven't necessarily dove into I do have subscriptions turned on on Instagram but I don't really actively promote it but subscriptions you have to be in an eligible country you also have to follow the content monetization policy you can see that's one of the things that's in all of the the tiers that you have but you have to have at least 10,000 followers or you have to have 250 weekly returning viewers so if you have people coming to your page 
um, over over the the week and it's 250 of them that you can have that that criteria met. So 10,000 followers or you have to have that 250 um, weekly returning viewers to your page. You also have to have 50,000 engagements on your post. So that's kind of a, a little bit of a steeper one because you have, because you have to have 50,000 engagements with your post. So it's going to be shares, it's going to be comments, it's going to be likes, it's going to be watches. Um, so if you have a video or you have a post that goes viral, this 50,000 engagement is not going to be that difficult to meet. Um, or you can also get 180,000 minutes of of watch time on your video. So if you have a video or if you have a live video, um, if you get 180,000 minutes of watch time or it's a cumulative. So if you have multiple videos and a couple of them do really good, um, you can meet this 180,000 um, minutes of watch times view. Now, if you're a content creator, there is a lot of opportunity here because there's not a lot of people creating on Facebook just because people think that Facebook is dead. But there is has been a huge influx of people coming to Facebook because they have seen some of these monetization options and they could be very lucrative. Like I said, I made four thousand dollars in three days. That's pretty, pretty good for content online. Now, I will say if you have been creating content for quite some time and you have a backlog of content, that would be really good to establish your page and start posting videos, posting content on your page. As, it's, as if it's organic content, it's it's new to the platform, it's new to Facebook. So in theory, you could come up with a plan to release all that old content on your Facebook page as new content and organically build your following based on the content that you already made. One thing I will caution with this is that Facebook is pretty smart. So they do know if it's recycled content, they know if it's been posted on other platforms. So sometimes just changing up just a little bit does make it a new piece of content and you can also make edits of other viral type of content. And I've done that, that's what I do. That's the page that I have, is I just re-edit viral content. I know what gets clicks and clicks and views on, on Facebook, so it's pretty pretty simple for me to, uh, to post those types of videos. But I will say that they don't pay as much as if you have organic, new, fresh content that you're posting. And if you have a niche that you're posting in, I would say just try to post on your Facebook page create a page, try to post some stuff over there, see what the engagement is. When you have a video that performs well, start posting more of that video. So it's basically how all of these algorithms work. If you have a video or if you have a piece of content that's performing well, they want you to create more content that's similar to that. Now, like I said, if you already have content that's a similar content and you can post it to your page, then it will be easy. All you have to do is schedule. You can go online, you can schedule all your videos. They have a very easy scheduling program um, where you can go in and just put your the different days and times that you want to schedule your content to come out. They even let you schedule reels out so you can post different types of content. So you can post videos, you can post reels, you can post text, you can post pictures, and you can do it all scheduled. You can schedule all of it. So I'm going to make some more videos about my journey with Facebook and the in-stream ads, the bonuses, the different things that happen, some stuff that I've done wrong, some stuff that I've done right. Make sure you subscribe for more. Also make sure you follow this playlist because it is going to show you all of the things that I have done with Facebook reels, the bonuses, everything in this playlist is going to have it all there.